it's amazing. It's like night and guys, day. look at this. Wow. Mm. That looks really nice. Mm. And I got my little so we had a really nice day yesterday and now today we are back in Firenze, the heart of Florence, just exploring again. Yes. So yeah, we'll see what the day brings us. I'm wearing my gelato shirt, so that can only mean one thing, a gelato is in my future. Yeah, <laughs> my gelato shirt, but... I stole it from Jen. It's because true. Jen doesn't like gelato, I do. I like gelato. She doesn't even, she always buys one and throws half of it She's not garbage. a true gelato fan. She's not a gelato I'm fan, not. okay? Me and Lee are the OGs. We are OG <laughs> gelato fans, sorry Jen. <laughs> Just so you guys know, this is not the real David. This is a replica. The real one is in a museum, actually. So, this is just a replica. Right outside the Palazzo Vecchio Museum. When we were young, me, Jen, and Jules literally got lost in Firenze and we ended up in this piazza. And we came in this piazza. We got lost in here and it was so funny because yeah. like, it was so new to us, everything. It felt like, so oh, this is a nice area for yeah. to like, get the shelter. By the way, guys, oh. if you're running out of outfit ideas, Jules literally put a scarf on as a top. Woo. Isn't it nice? It's gorgeous. So if you're running out of shirts, just buy a nice DIY, little scarf guys, and, about those DIYs. and you're good to go. Lisa and I are actually casual today. We're kind of twinning. Yeah. You can see Jen's the longer version. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful. And guys, I just want to say one thing since we're on the topic of gelato today. Yes. <laughs> that gelato that I showed you that was like piled high mountains of gelato, never get that gelato that ever. Is, that is a no no. That is a tourist trap gelato. So it's any, been sitting there for days. It's not fresh. It's fake ingredients. It's not like the it's real It's probably good not even artisanal. And just don't no. ever, ever buy that gelato. There's so many gelaterias. If you see flavors that look like they're not piled high and that they're almost finished, get those. Do flavors. your research. Do they your have research. to look creamy, fresh. Yeah. You'll see if it says oh, not mountains. Yeah, it looks. It's cute, but say it's not good That yeah. means homemade. That's what you want when you come to Italy. Yeah. Homemade gelato. Yes. And not piled high. And if the pistachio flavor is like a bright green, run away. No, it has to be almost like a brownie green. <laughs> yeah. So we're at this osteria, it's called La Cantinetta and we're actually having our first lunch in a trattoria instead of just eating street food so this is the tagliolini con tartufo, let's put some nice parmigiano mm -hmm. Yeah. Pomodoro? Yeah, pomodoro. It's very nice. Pomodorini. My mom says it's really good. Really good. Looks good. And a nice caprese. So we just had a really nice lunch. I think I'm officially truffled out because I ate truffles yesterday. I ate them today. We bought a little a really truffle spread, but it was really, really delicious. The tagliolini were homemade, you could tell, and it was very nice. And I think even the owner was probably there, and he seemed like a really sweet guy as well. So I highly recommend that spot. It's a nice little trattoria. Yeah, it was fresh inside. As just a break, have a nice lunch. The prices were really good as well. It wasn't too expensive. All of us paid about 15 each, I would say, and we got pastas and salads and water and things to share. So it was actually very affordable. I have this gelato from La Caraya. It's a really delicious gelateria here. I got their La Caraya flavor, which is pistachio and white chocolate. And then I also got this cheesecake flavor because it looked really delicious. Again, the girls inside just give me such bitchy vibes, guys. I, I can't deal anymore with these Italian ladies. <laughs> but the gelato's worth it. Oh my gosh, this guy just proposed to this girl on the bridge that is so at sunset romantic. because it's the sun is setting. And they propose, they're literally right there. Do you guys see them? Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, my mom is having a nervous breakdown. Because people are sitting. <laughs> my mom can't deal. So we found an Italy in Firenze. I remember going to the one in Rome, it's really big. And this was just like in the middle of, sort of near the Duomo, just on a side street. It said Italy. It looks very tiny, but it's actually really big inside and they have a lot of Italian products and produce and really cool things. So if you want to get like a cool gift for someone, I highly recommend checking out an Italy. It's very interesting. I think they're gonna open one up in Toronto soon too as well. So that should be fun. Jen said she found some pesto chips that she wants to get. I have to get these. Like, <laughs> I love pesto, I'm obsessed. And we're in Italy in Florence. Yeah. Here's all their pan forte, which they're famous for. And I actually really like pan forte. I actually love pan pepato, the one with the pepper. It's really tasty. 
Oh my gosh, don't these look so good? This is mando de la cream, which is almond, but it doesn't look like almond butter. It looks like a creamy one. Kind of like their crema de pistachio. Mmm. I'm a sucker for pistachio. They have their cantucci with their vini santo. Hola. My dad loves candy, so we're gonna get him some candy. Lampone, that's Hi, Dad. <laughs> See right here, right down the street from the Duomo. It's in the center. Very interesting. Are they better? Truffle. Truffle for the win, guys. Mm, yeah, better. Much better. Yeah. These are more like potato chips. Are they, Mom? And oh, hello. More like truffle. <laughs> Got my mom on camera. Woo! She's hiding. <laughs> our last official day in Firenze so we decided to have a nice relaxing breakfast and not eat at the bar for once. The bar is usually less expensive and just quicker but we wanted to actually have a nice leisurely breakfast today. So the time is about almost 11. We're always a little bit late but we're going to have a nice breakfast sitting down. It might be a little bit more expensive but it's worth it because we get to relax and be on a nice patio. It's our last day in Florence yeah. so we're actually ready to leave and head on to Rome because <laughs> it's nice just to end our trip in Rome and there's a lot to do in Rome. Rome is like a yes. second home for us, so it's, we're very comfortable there. And Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Guys, look, my mom is in the vlog. Are you guys shocked? And she looks so cute too. She's always camera we're shy. Happy to be sitting. We, can't leave. we just want to sit. We've been yes. doing a lot of walking here. Actually, Florence is very, very small, so there's not much to do. If you're here for a few days, you basically can see it all. I love Florence. It's it's very beautiful, but it's just nice. To be in Italy. I think any place in Italy, any place in Italy, yeah, and you can't go wrong, really. Every city, songs. every city has its own character and uniqueness, yeah, which is nice. So yeah, so we are going to have a nice breakfast because it's one of my favorite meals of the day. <laughs> so we have our cappuccino. I love my cappuccino. There's a nice chantilly. This is a semolina with white chocolate, budino di riso, cornetto, another chantilly. This is pretty much This like is, a, yeah. It's called a chantilly, like cake. Like a milfoy. milfoy looks like a yes. milfoy with chantilly cream. This looks so good. One of my favorite things is having a cappuccino and we just made the time limit, guys, because apparently if you have a cappuccino in Italy after 11 o'clock, you're considered a tourist. <laughs> So it's only a breakfast drink, we, but it's we, so we, good. We just, we just made it. Yeah. Just made it. Guys, when you come to Italy and you need to yes. take out money from your card, I, I really like to take it out from my debit card, obviously. Go to the banks, like the BNLs or any kind of popular bank in Italy. Don't get it from these exchange places. They always rip you off. For example, I got it from an exchange place that looked like it said, oh, no commission, whatever. I took out 250 euros and I was charged like 410 Canadian. Jules just took out 250 and she was charged 380 Canadian ish. So you can see I got ripped off like $30, which is like horrible. So, guys, always take it out from a bank. Look for when it's worth it. We just went to the BNL. So, I just bought my favorite book in Italian. I already have Il Piccolo Principe, The Little Prince in Italian, but I don't have the hardcover. So, this was really cute and it was only like five maybe 80 euros so it was not bad and honestly I love this book so much it's one of my favorite books of all times so if you haven't ever read The Little Prince I highly recommend it and believe me it's not a children's book even though there are illustrations it is so deep and you actually have to be older to understand every time you read it you pick up something new black sesame black sesame peanut the peanut one is really good mm, this one so good okay so this gelateria santa trinita is probably one of my favorites because of this flavor torta paradiso it's like blueberry and ricotta tastes like it's so good and they also have peanut and chocolate arachide e cioccolato I better eat before it melts. So right now we're walking to the Boboli Gardens. I don't exactly know what should be there, but it's apparently some nice gardens with a nice panorama. So let's see what this is all about. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Look, it's like a little mermaid girl, I think. Or no, that's really cute. Look at this fountain Very area. pretty. We're in the Boboli Gardens. It costs about 10 euros a person to get in. This is actually seems like a nice break from the Very city. Nice. So let's see how it is. It reminds me of like one of those villas like that we kept seeing in Lago di Cola. I'll tell you the history of the Boboli Gardens. They started in the year 1549. It was a project from Cosmo 
the Medici. He made it for his wife, Duchess Eleonora the, di Torino. The Medici are very popular here in Florence. And they Florence pretty much are, are like the, the reason. Family. They made Florence. The reason much. why Florence is what it is today, basically, yes. because of them. Is that an ancient bath? It looks like it. A view. We are sweating buckets, guys. <laughs> but the view is stunning. I'm struggling, guys. So there's some really pretty panoramic views from up here. It's just quite the trek, so make sure you have some water and comfy shoes when you come to visit. There's a menu on the plate, and then there's a little swan cup. <gasps> Collecting all these things. Adorable. How much are tiny these little succulent is. This is my finger for reference. <laughs> no, so cute. Himself. I knew you were going to scare him off. <laughs> what did you do? Oh my gosh. Guys, this, guys, this was a very beautiful beautiful. place to go, but it's yeah, hot. With the heat. We are really tired. It's very hot. Look how pretty this is. There's these gorgeous lemon trees and this fountain and the water. There's like literally all lemon trees growing. Little ones and big ones. So pretty. Look how cute this pink ladybug is that just landed on me. I feel like ladybugs are good luck, at least for me, I think. So very cute. Unless this is poisonous and I'm going to be in trouble after. <laughs> Some birds and there's even a little turtle there sunbathing. I see some lemons that actually ended up falling into the water there. That's funny. Oh, look at that bird. I love those birds. It's my favorite bird. We're back at Atlantico Vinayo. I got La Favolosa, which is theirs with their specific salami, pecorino cream, artichoke cream, and spicy eggplant. It looks really good. So let's go. I got tomato, basilico, mortadella, uh, mozzarella, and Jen made her own mix. He wouldn't add the burrata because you, you can't. You can only have one cheese and one meat. Oh, and mom's is a nice vegetarian one. That looks very good, mom. Yeah, yeah. Well, mother, it's I mom. let us right. Going into Viva Me. They have janduia. Janduia, that's yeah. your favorite. Mm, but this yeah. one, chocolate arancia looks so good. That looks good to the good. They even have chocolate yeah. and chocolate. Where, where's one. that famous one? So I got chocolate arancia, crema, and that festina lente or something, which is like ginger because I heard someone say, oh, that's the flavor to get. And then I also heard the crema one is the flavor to get. And I just love chocolate arancia. The oranges look so fresh and delicious. Guys, this gelato looks amazing just from the aspect of it, just from looking at it. So let's see how it is. We're in Piazza Santa Croce. We just had a delicious gelato from Vivoli and this is basically down the street from there. Such a pretty piazza, guys. Who knew? Let's do a tour. Mm. Piazza Santa Croce. I don't know what the name of this church is. Maybe it's called Santa Croce. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. And there's Dante Alighieri. This is a beautiful area. Yes, this is called Basilica Santa Croce and it was built in 1294. So it's a very old church. Too bad that it is closed so we cannot go inside. But I just love walking around the wow, streets of Firenze here? at this hour. Who? Michelangelo. No. Galileo Galilei. Niccolo Mi Machiavelli. Wow. Lorenzo Ghiberti. Leon Battista Alberti. There's like a ton of Oh my gosh. A ton of people are buried in this church, guys. Wow. wow. We just stumbled upon that cool Basilica Santa Croce where Michelangelo is buried there. And Machiavelli, Galileo, Galilei. Galileo. So that is so cool. And we stumbled upon it after delicious gelato, like I said, that was really, really good. And now we are in Machiavelli, yes, like I said. And now we are walking around. It is our last night in Florence. So it is definitely bittersweet for us. I think we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah. We had a great time, but we are ready to go. Only because Florence is really small. It's quite small, so yeah, like I said, you don't need too much time here. I think even three or four days would be enough, depending if you're going to the Tuscany area or not. Which you should. Just, yeah. But it's a beautiful city, so it's a different vibe than Rome, which is where we're off to next. And I can't wait! So we're gonna have a nice last night, and we're leaving tomorrow in the afternoon for Roma. Yeah, we're leaving. 
On a jet plane. No, not in a jet plane. <laughs> no, on a not train. A train. <laughs> train for now, then a jet plane. Alrighty. Guys, look at the line now for the sandwiches. When we came at like four o'clock, it was empty. Now it's like rammed. I think it's about nine o'clock right now. It gets busy later. So we all got some nice delicious pastries. All the pastries all together were eight euros and we got like four cornetti. Wow. Oh, mom's is in there, the apricot one's in there. This bread to try, this little cake. Mm -hmm. 